I write. You gotta hear my songs. Don't you? I wrote a country hit. You don't sing country. Yeah, I did. Everywhere we go, we got our job site radio. Huh? After arrest and before trial comes jail. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Another night in the streets, another night in this hell. I've been kicking and tripping, the cops just threw me in jail. Got my fingers in ink, they got my head on the lights. Dear Lord, please get me out of this jail tonight. Just get me out, just get me out. As corrections officers, we receive a lot of training in self-defense and how to abate dangerous situations. And a lot of these dangerous situations occur at the drop of a hat, and uh, we must react quickly and contain the situation. And that's actually one of the fun parts of the job. Uh, it's something that you really can't get anywhere else, and uh, that's why I enjoy it so much. You're going to sit here a little longer. Have a seat. Yeah. Sit down. Going with the program, sir. Sit down. Yeah. This is different. I'm already sitting down. You, you don't come push right. me. You, sir. What's your name? Nah, I'm man. I've been waiting for too long, stand man. Up, yeah. Stand up. Over a stand picture. Up. Stand up, sir. Hey, y'all got me up. Yeah. Tasing me for no reason. I ain't resisting. I got cuffs on. Yes. What the Yeah, grab the chair. Grab the chair. Hello. Here I go. Let me tell you nothing. Have a seat. Come on, man. I've been tighter for no reason. Nothing but disrespect. I'm not resisting. Why y'all keep saying that? I'm in cuffs. How am I resisting? Okay, all restraints for tightness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Or, or you received this. Probably going to be terminated. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and debrief in the sergeant's office, please. Okay, officers, who had first contact with him? I did. Okay. Um, I brought him in for a picture. He refused to uh, hold his head up straight, so I just made him go sit back down. Did he do any striking or anything, or was he just uh, frustrated? No striking, just yelling. He just okay. jumped up and yelled. He, re he was refusing to sit down, wouldn't follow verbal, verbal orders given to him. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. You look, y'all gave up. I ain't resisting. Okay, listen to me. The officers are going to give you specific instructions. Don't fight us. I ain't. All right. Does it look like I'm fighting you? Well, you have to. fighting you. You're laying on the ground dead. Sit up. Sit up. On three, we're standing you up. One, two, three. Stand up. Turn him towards you. Hey, loosen this cuff. It's cutting into my wrist. I ain't doing nothing, obviously. Cut, loosen this damn thing. Hey, f you. You know that? We'll meet sometime. Come. Park down here in the corner. You got, a, you got the wrong person. I'm telling you. I'm a truck driver, dude. Sit back. I'll come back and talk to you. Charges, burglary, obtaining money under a fault pretense, non-sufficient funds with checks and grand larceny. Okay, can you go ahead and go over what happened? Uh, as soon as I showed the inmate his charges, he was pissed off that uh, he's not supposed to be here. He pulled his hand away from me, don't touch me, and then it looked like he was going to swing toward me. So I tried to secure his hand, and he started pulling, and, now, and then he started fighting. So we had uh, other officers came to help. We had to take him to the ground, and he was still combative. You will be looking at uh, possible felony battery by prisoner charges. So if uh, he did strike the officer in the face, he... Scott, you understand that you cannot get out of control and make moves on anybody. Apparently, one of the officers has damage to his uniform. The well, various... that was his own doing, man. It wasn't me. Okay. He did that with his friends trying to freaking throw me down. I wasn't trying to get thrown down. I thought it was, was self-defense. I thought he was coming at me, man. It was well, just a... Uh, no, natural reaction. Okay. Natural reaction. Yes. People sometimes just go off. Sometimes human, just... human natural reaction. Well, it was. Okay. Transport on five. 
go and stand up. All right, stay facing the wall. You're going to listen to my instructions real close, all right? Do a quick search on the uh, suspect, he does have a potential for violence. Uh, he was determined to be homicidal by our team downstairs, so he'll be segregated until our staff determines that he's stable to return to general population. Listen to me, all right? The officers are going to give you specific commands. You must follow those commands, okay? If you do not follow those commands, force will be used against you. Do you understand that? Yeah. Yes? That was a yes. Okay. Yeah. Up to and including the electronic control device, the Taser brand. Do you understand that? Oh, brand. They tasered me before I got well, here. Well, no, no, I'm giving you the warning. Oh, all dude, right. please, right, not, so, not the Taser. All right. You comply with no problem, okay? Man, I, anything, right, man. Anything but that, all right? Yeah, all right, so listen to the officers. They're going to give you specific instructions, okay, Mark? Yeah. All right. Booking process on him. All right, Mark. Uh, here in the day room. All right, you're gonna have a seat. All right, just be calm. If you need anything, raise your hand. The officers will address. Go take a seat on the left side. Don't talk to the ladies. I'll get you in trouble every time. Oh, I can't talk to the. No, can't talk to the ladies. Have a seat. Pretend they're not there. Too soon. <laughs> I've been with Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Department for about three months on the job here in the jail. My first official post was down here in booking. We were warned in the academy it was one of the most difficult posts. The people come in right off the street at their highest, whether it be on drugs or alcohol or just an emotional state, excited delirium. These are all very dangerous states. But the minute I heard that, I had to go for it. So I requested booking right off the bat. Didn't matter what platoon, what hours, I just wanted booking. I don't regret it at all. I know I've been assaulted, but um, no, what happened? Assaulted me. I need to press charges on him. I swear to God, this man assaulted me. But it's okay because he had that punk ass badge. Amen. I'm sorry, miss. Spread your feet for me. His badge. Spread your feet. What are you brought in for? Prostitution. I was trying to pay for my room because I'm sick. I was trying to go to sleep and he came up to me and offered me a ride. As soon as you get seen by medical, you can go to the restroom, okay? All right, listen up. Second row, all the way to the end, wait for medical to call you up, okay? She was trying to have money to pay for her room. She admits she tried to prostitute herself. She was trying to make a buck, but she chose the wrong John, who's a probably undercover cop. Head up straight, look at the camera, please. Can you put your head straight for me, please? All right, go back out, have a seat where you were. How long have you lived here? Since I was five. You have no family here? I grew up in a foster home. And last time I was in here, my caseworker for my CPS case tried to get me in a shelter. They didn't have no room for me. I want to get a job. I don't want to live like this. How many times have you been arrested? I've been arrested. I can't count. I was a bad kid when I was in foster homes because I wanted just to go home. I just want to be normal. I've been arrested. I've been I've been locked up more than half of my life. And really what I need is help, but I just keep getting locked up. I don't do drugs, I don't steal, I don't cheat, I don't lie. I just need help. There's uh, the chaplain here, Bonnie. And if she can't come down and help you, they can probably get you some information. I can't believe that there's absolutely nowhere for you to go. You get out. I really hope there's a place for me to go and I will go to it. I'll go look into it for you and see what we can do. I would you, okay? appreciate it. <laughs> Ma'am, come on in. Want to face the wall for me and spread your feet? Do girls have better? If we can finish your room uh, in five minutes, I can take you. Five minutes I'm going to have to dress yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. So you can't have the same. The tire is our medical staff be in the same building. So we'll go ahead and get you started. Who are you arrested for? 
So you've probably been on the news, huh? I'm gonna have to go dress her out. Come on, let's go this way. Just gotta take the scrubs off of her. So what's this lady's story? She's being booked for murder. She shot her husband early this morning. It's probably on the news. I figured I probably missed something. Right. All right, thanks. Here's a copy of the charges. All right, go ahead and have a seat up front. They're booking her in for first degree murder, so I don't know. First degree murder, that's going to carry a pretty hefty sentence. I could, a lot of time in prison. She's, um, she's basically been a foster child her whole entire life. She has no family here. She's been here all her life, but in foster care. Mm -hmm. um, she's been trying to get her life back on track to get her just three kids. Laura, you, you know who Bonnie is, right? Hi, Laura. She's been in here before. Yeah, I think I met you before, yeah. haven't I? Yeah, you have. Officer Paulson said that uh, you were uh, ready to really do something. And, and um, I have a, uh, a friend, her name's Annie, and she comes into the jail, as a matter of fact, with this worship service. But she also is a, uh, she at one time was a, was a prostitute. And, and uh, then turned her life around. And now she has an organization, and it's called Hookers for Jesus. And uh, she even has a house where she uh, puts people up, has put some live there. Oh, that's so, yeah, that's cool. And uh, so that sounds like it might just be right what we would need to, we could just tap into that. Your life, your life can be different if you're really ready to do that. You know, it, it's really up to you. And if you really, 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 really are ready. It's not about me being ready. It's been me trying to reach out for help and trying to find help. But well, I, I think we found it. Yeah. One step at a time, OK? OK. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay. All right, Laura, if you can do me a favor, go ahead and have a seat up at the first couple of rows, OK? God bless you, Laura. Thank you. She seems like she really wants help. She seems like she wants to start a new beginning. She's got three kids to take care of. so. Hopefully she can start her life over again, get her three children back so they don't grow up in foster homes just as she did. Last night there was definitely a theme for the ladies, just female after female and all of them very combative. Tonight, hopefully, I'll get a break as far as the females go, but it's not going to be any fun. Every time it seems like I'm going to sit down, I have somebody coming through the door. You just roll with it, and the night will go by fast. OK, so do you want your people to watch me have a seizure? She's pissed because she's hungry. Ma'am, did you tell Sarge about what we talked about? Yes, I did. You expressed that? You said yes. that you haven't ate since early this morning? That's right. And then you just came to jail now, but you know if you have seizures that you should eat, but you chose not to eat because you chose to drink instead. That's right. There we go. So I just don't see how it's our fault. I didn't say it's your fault. No, you did. You just said we're going to let you have a seizure. You're no, gonna you're going to let yourself. You chose alcohol over food. Not very good prioritizing, I'm just saying. Okay, so now that I'm here and now that you've so it's our problem me, now. Yes, I see that. Yes, I didn't arrest you, your but okay. <laughs> Shh, you guys aren't helping. Oh well, why should they help? Why should they help you when they've been sitting here since one, two? I calm down and conserve your energy, ma'am. When you get over to see medical, they will give you food. My blood level is at an 8. It's supposed to be at 11. I just got out of the hospital You just told yesterday. us all that. Sarge just told you the answer. What, what are you going to argue with? You will get food from medical staff if they deem that necessary. OK, how long is it going to take for me to see medical? Probably an hour, hour and a half. An hour, hour and a half. It usually doesn't take that long. So relax and conserve your energy. When I kill over and I have a seizure, you're a head. You will hold yourself personally responsible. You heard that, right? Okay, listen. Okay, I'm getting tired of it. The sergeant says he would help you out. 
You're what so more cute. do you want? What more do you want? You're so cute. Okay, let me tell you what. Are you suicidal? No. Okay, no. now here's your choices. You can either go to the next room and be seen by medical and get crackers, or I will take you to a side cell based on your behavior and you will not get anything. It's a choice. You've got to behave while you're out here, just like everybody else. Cute. Thank you. Stand up. Stand up. This is me helping you stand up. Walk. There you go. It was a bad decision, ma'am. Very bad decision. Why? Because you're cute. Oh, I appreciate the flattery, but I don't swing that way. I said she was cute, and she was like me. You're disrupting my area. You are manhandling. Oh, you would like that too much. Spread your feet. You don't think you're cute. No, I don't. Come on. Put your knees up on the bench. Knees on the bench. There you go. Come on. You're not getting our phone numbers, though. You're still cute. Oh, thank you, honey. See how that goes? Now, where's my rings? So she comes in, she's demanding, saying that she's hungry and she's going to have seizures. And I asked her when the last time she ate, and she said it was early this morning. I go, what have you done since from then until now? She goes, well, I've been drinking. So I'm like, okay, well, where's the accountability? You have seizures, but you're gonna drink instead of trying to eat. So that's what she's been upset about, is because we won't give her any food. I'm not gay, but you're so cute. Ma'am, you're gonna be in here for a little bit until you can calm down. So I'll check on you in a couple hours, and I hope you're doing better. Officer, officer, I wanna go home. I wanna go home. I'm Canadian, and I'm gonna sue everybody in Las Vegas. So you know. I'm just trying to get you off these cuffs, all right? I'm trying to go back to Vancouver, back to Canada's land of the free, and f everybody who's in America. So I want to talk to the Canadian Embassy right now. I know my rights. Right. Yeah. No, I want to talk to the embassy. I'm sensing a theme. A lot of females and a lot of drama with them. I want to talk to the Canadian embassy. Ma ma no, ma'am. I want to talk to the Canadian embassy. I know my rights. I am not stupid. I know my rights. Well, you're acting really stupid right now. You don't have that right. I want to go home. You have any medical problems? Taking any medicine for anything? No. Okay. The Canadian Embassy right now. Okay. Goodbye. Come on. Okay. Have a seat in the back row. Yes, you want to tell me what happened? She's been charged with violating airport rules. I guess the airline lost a piece of her luggage. So she was in the baggage claim office trying to work things out. And she just went off on yeah. him. She started cussing, screaming, and giving him a hard time. I tried to give her a chance to walk away. She, she wouldn't take it. So. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ma'am? I want every badge number that with me tonight okay because i know my rights give me a reason why i'm in handcuffs because you know what i know my rights i have done nothing wrong can i ask you something talk to me please you'll answer me okay have you been drinking yes i drank on the plane but i'm trying to understand Be why i'm in handcuffs. because right now why I'm you here. listen I you don't listen nothing. you don't listen you don't listen, and I'm just guessing here that maybe alcohol has made you a little bit more emotional, and you didn't listen to the people that stopped you, and that's how come you're here. Okay, ma'am, I want to get my handcuffs off. I want to go back to Canada, the land of the free, because you know what? America is not the land of the free. Let's just leave it alone, because you just get more upset the more you think about it, and that's not helping you out here at all. Good luck to you, ma'am. That's just an example of people coming to Vegas and not able to control their, their alcohol intake. But you can't tell them differently, not until they sober up and realize. It's been a little bit since I've talked to the inmate we took back to the side cell, so we're gonna go back, see how she's doing. What did you do out there to get you in here? Actually, I'm not gay. I'm sorry. I know, I know. You, but you were trying to be funny in front of all the other inmates. Why are you here? I slapped my daughter. OK, so you got into a domestic with your daughter? What was happening? I was drinking and she wanted me to stop. How old is she? 22. 
You feel bad, don't you? I can tell. You're an alcoholic, ma'am? Do you see a pattern here? People are trying to help you and you don't see it. I had four years of three Okay, well, I hope you're doing better. I'll be back. Things are looking better for her. Maybe we can get her out and get her processed. detention center for six years. I worked up in the towers when I first started working here and it was a good job however it was a little slow. I transferred down to booking and I haven't looked back. have a call for a code 5 mail that's coming in. That just means that an inmate is coming in either physically resisting or combative. He came in on a DV, but he was able to be talked down and he chose to walk in, which is definitely a better way that saves us from the extra work. Hopefully he can remain calm. If he doesn't, then he'll end up in the side cell. Basically, he got arrested for uh, battery domestic violence, assault with deadly weapon, uh, intimidating a PO, and uh, malicious destruction of county property. He decided to kick out our rear window of our patrol car. So that's why he's here. That's why he's down here. Thank you so much. It's, it's too tight, man. Come on. Take it off, sir. He's very up and down, and that's actually really common for Code Fives that come in, and they choose to walk in, but then any little thing can escalate the situation, and their mood can change. See, I just, I really don't think he's going to make it. He will end up in a side cell because we can't have this kind of attitude out here in pre rest where the other inmates can see. I respect you, you respect me. Once inside the site, so we're going to do another pat search on him to make sure we didn't miss anything from the first time. He's going to stay in here until he can sober up and cool down, and he's getting very upset. However, we need him to hold still until we can leave safely. And now that he's uh, secured in the site, so I'm sure he'll talk and yell a little bit. If he continues with the head slamming, he'll have to be removed and taken up to isolation. But we'll, that's definitely what we're going to do here. And the officer's job is to monitor him while he's in the side cell. Hey, Sergeant Gettler, he's banging his head pretty bad. Chill out. Go respect me. I respect you. Huh. Too much liquor, too much drugs. Man, that, that, that's nothing but respect. Give me her. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. That's not respect. That's true. Almost threw up in my mouth a little bit. I'm okay though. You talk about respect, and then you talk like that to one of the female officers. That ain't respect. How would you like it if it was your daughter, huh? What would you do if some guy got your daughter's face and licked his tongue like he's some animal? You don't talk to my officer like that. Understood? Understood. He's all talk. You're forgiven. <laughs> Tomorrow he'll be a totally different guy. Stand right here on the mat. Use the wall for me. Get your feet up. Oh, yeah. So you know that, well, he's transsexual. Oh, OK. So, so where is? That's for you. <laughs> where were you at tonight? I was at the commercial center. Oh, walking? Oh. No, standing. Standing. Was there a party? You went to a club or something? Yeah. Yeah? Hi, sir. I said it was going to swim. You said you were at a, a club tonight? Mm -hmm. So how come you're here, though? What happened? Somebody picked me up and then trapped me. They wanted to pay you for sexual favors? Yeah, I told him I would pay to clean, to wash the dishes, to oh, clean his house. Oh, that's just being silly. We both know what that's about. 
Well, they're going to pay one way or another. Either they're going to pay up front, they're going to pay, you know, by dinner and gifts and flowers mm -hmm. to get it, but they're always going to end up paying at the end, so. Okay. All right, he's going to change you out, okay? Industrial. Okay. The male officer's going to go in with him and just verify whether he's a male or female, and that way it helps us to segregate him. And again, that's just for his safety. Can I ask you personal questions? Do you of mind? Of course. Okay. Yeah. How long have you been transgender? Yeah. Well, I've been transgender all my life, but how long have I been living as That's a woman? That's what I'm asking you. Absolutely. About eight years. Eight years? Yeah. Okay. Has it been harder for you, or you of just? Of course, it's hard. You know, people discriminate against. You know, just because they don't understand it, and it's different. You know, they have to. They don't understand it, so they get scared. So they, you know. Yeah. They don't like it. Do you find uh, people more accepting here in Vegas or back in California? No, in Vegas, people just come here to uh, terrorize the town for the weekend, break everything, they don't trash care, everything, right? and they go back home. Like, you know, oh, I'm a good person, you know? Have a seat. Relax. The tattoo on your right arm, what's that about? That's a green beret. Why? What, are, what does that mean to you? What does that mean to me? Yeah, what's the meaning behind it? Because I was in the green beret. Really? Yeah. How long ago? 25, oh my god, how old am I now? 28 years ago. How long were you in there for? Five years. Right. You see, what a turn out. <laughs> I got a sense of humor about it. Well, when you look like me, you have to. I guess. Otherwise, you have a tough life. You're right, it's a better attitude to have. Let's go into the next room. I'm going to have you have a seat in the back row on the left hand side. Mel's over there in the back row. You can have it on the very last chair. If you need something, you raise your hand, like water, restrooms, phones. Good luck to you, Kelly. Yeah, it's just, he's got a great sense of humor about the whole thing, though, but he's right. I mean, he's got a tough life, so you might as well laugh about it. But he'll go through this process, get out of here, and hopefully a better life for him. When the inmate comes in, we like to size them up, we'll ask them questions, we'll give them basic commands, and that'll let us know if they're a yes or a no inmate, because we need to be able to keep order in here once they come into our facility. You know, if somebody starts getting out of hand and we don't do something about it, well, then it starts a chain reaction with everybody else. Oh, yeah. Here, sit there. No, let me sit there. No. You don't get a choice. The girls sit oh, back here. Oh, come on. Oh, just sit down. Why Don't are you be nasty. Something? I'm not being nasty yes, to you. Yes, you are. Sit down. Yes, you are. Okay. Yes, you are. I'm nasty yes, to you because you, you have to sit in the back and you can't sit in the front. Yes, you're, nice. you're being extremely rude. Well. So apparently she ran into a curb. They had her on camera and she cleverly gets out of the driver's seat, goes around to the passenger seat thinking that would keep her from getting a DUI. Unfortunately, no, she failed our sobriety test in the uh, open container of... Manhattan was in there. So. so this is her second one this year. Second one this year. And then one back in 94. Yes. <laughs> so how fast were you driving when you hit the curb? I didn't really know I hit the curb. Oh, you didn't? No. And what is this we're doing? Pardon me? It's called a blood draw. For what this reason? Is what I read you in the car. Okay. Yeah, you read you your rights, and now you're getting blood draw because you, you were drinking and driving. Consent? Uh, no, I wasn't drinking and driving. Okay. The rim is broken. Tire is flattened, and the rim is broken. You hit mm, it pretty hard. No. Yeah, actually, it is. You had to hit something pretty hard to do that. Okay. Gotcha. All right, Santa for me, ma'am. Turn your body to the right, face that direction. Like I'm taking off my underwear. Do you ask the men to take off their underwear? Well, if they're wearing well, stockings, yes. No, do you ask them to take off their underwear? Yeah. In no, jail, you have to take your stockings well. off. But they cost $5. Isn't so I'm not going to just leave I'm gonna get them back. Right there. I'm going to get them back. Let's come on over here and have a seat. I have never done this before. Bobby, no. Just yeah, you were just here in March. I don't this care. Is the same thing. I didn't show you my belly button you before. Go. What the hell? You're disgusting. You know that? You are, you're a disgusting woman. Well, Thank Bobby, you. I've I heard understand you're okay. angry, but you don't got to take your anger out on the officers that are here. 
I do when they are being mean to me. And she is being mean to me. No, she's not. She's being mean to me. Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. And we're going to go ahead and isolate you in a side cell, away from everybody else, because the officers Rates. really don't need your uh, disrespectful Rainbow. comments. Yeah. Listen, can I ask you all something? Nope. That time's over. Can I ask you all Go ahead and lay her down on the bunk there. There you go. Ow! 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 Right Relax. You stay right there. Don't move until the door shuts. Broke my glasses. Broke my glasses. I hope you're all proud. Just trying to finish it up. As soon as we started talking about uh, taking off the pantyhose, that's when she really lost it and refused to cooperate. Is it your first time getting a DUI? Six years ago, Six years ago in California? Yeah. Put your hands on top of your head. So you, uh, you were running away from your husband and get, to get away from him, because you said, was he, did you say he was hitting you? He hit you? I barely heard two times. Have you ever gone to jail for that? Yeah. All the way down to the end, sit in the first seat. She tells us she's been drinking all night. She uh, says that her and her husband had an argument. This is the third time she's been to jail, and uh, she's been arrested for domestic violence several times. Husband's been twice, so it's. Then she had her kids in the car, and they weren't in their seatbelts. No, none of them had seatbelts on. There was oh four, four kids in the car. It's a good thing you guys went, showed up when you did. So Ruby, do you think you're going to be going back to your I just want husband? My children back. Yeah. I have a seat right here. I know you were talking to me about how you had a history about. Yeah, but you guys never bring him to jail. And it's every time you guys never take him, and he talks such a. And I know I drink, I do, but I wasn't drinking and and taking off and driving like, you know what? I know it's wrong still. I'm not excusing that. Sure, I understand but that. But what he does is so much worse. This is a copy of your charges. That's for you. You know, when you get in the next room, sit with the girls on the right and don't talk to the fellows on the left. Listen up for your name and don't get up without asking, all right? Go straight ahead. First row on the right. And we'll see. I mean, she's got some pretty good charges, but she might be able to qualify for an OR. I don't know. I think she probably will, but she's actually lucky with her kids in the car. They could have charged her with more. They could have charged her with child, child endangerment. They didn't do that, so um, she kind of got lucky. Are you feeling a little bit better now that you slept it off a little bit? No? I feel fine. Feel fine? Well, that's good. So we just want to get you through this. As long as you don't, you know, I know you were agitated earlier, and hopefully you're not agitated now, and get you processed, and we can get you out of here, okay? You think you can do that? Great. Sarge, I think she'll be fine. She's also yeah. playing a little bit of a denial. That's all right. Whatever works. All right, come on over here. You're going to sit with the girls on the right-hand side. Don't talk to the fellas. Okay. We'll uh, give her a chance and just monitor her behavior out here. Yeah, I think she'll be okay now. She's sober up. Reality is setting in. You know, thinking about everything. I think she'll be fine and be able to continue the process and go home. Correction sergeants tasked with supervising approximately 20 to 25 corrections officers. Our job's a difficult one. We do see people at their worst, an emotional, uncontrolled state often, and uh, incidents of violence are common, and that's probably one of the most difficult uh, parts uh, or functions of a corrections officer. Right over here, ma'am. Stand right there. Move him over. Please that way. 79 meals, raise the place. Anything uh, sharp no. on you? No, no, not at all. Okay. Have you ever been here before? I have. Yeah. Like warrant. Clean packets, everything. I'm clean. I'm pretty much a square. Pretty much a what? Square. I just work, dental hygienist, and um, pretty much that's it. Hygienist during the day, stripper during the night. So what's going on with her? She ran the back of a lady in an accident. She works in the Cobblers Club. I was out drinking all night and crashed over on Twain Narville. Wow. And then she's trying to be flattering and flirting to get out of a DUI, which is over the limit. When we arrested her, we found a small bag of marijuana that she had. Uh, she's alcohol and she's been smoking dope all night driving a car. So. 
I'm going to draw a blood and do a breath and charge of a DUI and uh, possession of uh, narcotics. Is that it? Work. That's it. Work. You got in an accident? I I didn't stop on time. I guess I was going fast. But I barely hit him. It was like five miles an hour. And whatever. I'll take this responsibility for I'm not tripping. I don't like to argue with people. So you know what? I'll pay for it. She breath of blood. Breath first and then blood. Come on, let's go talk to the nurse. You go see the nurse real quick. Of Bang your head. Do not bang your head, sir. Your own cops tell you're corrupt. Do not bang your head. Let's have a seat, sir, right now. All right, right now. What do you have for? For nothing. I don't even know. It's nothing. For my girlfriend beating me up. Oh, yeah, you'll be here for a little while then. Yeah. Yeah. She has no scratches on her, and everybody else told her that she beat me up. I want her phone call real quick. Are you from Vegas? Chicago. Okay. Here's the deal in Vegas. Never gotten a problem in my life. Ever. Here's the deal. Let me explain how you're doing. You guys are corrupt and that's fine. My dad told me. My dad's a lawyer in Chicago. He knows what you guys are. There, he's basically beating up on, I think it's his wife. And he got arrested for DV. He was all calm, acting like he needed medical beforehand. Since we got to jail, I started acting all crazy. So he was kind of asleep in your car? Yeah. Woke him up to get him in here. And then as soon as I got to the door, he started going nuts. Maybe he realized that he's going to jail. I don't know. Wow, and he beat up his wife. Mm hmm. Wow. Don't break my hand! Whoa. Hey, whoa, whoa. Calm down, man. Calm down. Calm down. What makes you better than me? I work for a living, I pay my taxes. Because some lady says that I haven't told her to leave my apartment. Calm down. It's my apartment. I did nothing wrong. I just got home from work. I got punched in the face twice, and now I'm in jail. You haven't had nothing to drink since you got off work at 108 degrees. Come on. Let it break it, break it. Punch me in the face. What is this, like Rodney King this reverse? Double locking right there. I wanted to call my dad, who's a lawyer. I'm not saying nothing. Double lock. Change. Then you hold me in jail forever, because I'll never say nothing if I get my dad here. I don't think I should meet your maker. What's going on? I didn't have no problems with my wife. She woke me up by slapping me twice. That was it. Where do you guys get these problems from? I'm just trying to find out. Ask the neighbors. Ask anybody. I didn't talk. Look at my hands, dude. Come on. I got no scratches. I got no hands. All I got is where she slapped me. And you guys arrest me? You want to understand my point of view? I've done nothing. I've never had a felony in my life. I've done nothing, dude. Not, I've done nothing. Not I'm not even kidding. I've done absolutely nothing, dude. Nothing. I'm concerned right now about your behavior. And right now you're... I'm frustrated. You're I totally understand that. That's why you're I'll sleep chair. somewhere else. Okay. I'll go. I'll run the motel room. Just try to relax. <laughs> by the three red X's for your money, these two for your property. Okay, um, purse, yeah, high heel shoes. I have high heel shoes on? Yes. No, I have... Either on or in your property. You had them in your purse, I think. Oh, you had okay, those my, boots. My, my, my stripper clothes, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you had those boots. Okay. Okay, here's your copy of your charges. Okay. okay. Remember the rules for sitting out here and open booking? Okay, I can use the phone though, correct? Yes. So did you learn your lesson, you think? About what? Drinking and driving. That's why you're here. You I'm remember? not really a drinker, to be honest with you. Drugs. Drink, drinking, Marijuana, drugs. yeah. But to be honest, I'm not that kind of like, I don't do it on a daily basis, you know, one or two shots. I guess I shouldn't have been driving off of a shop, but and they stopped suddenly. But yeah, you're right. Yeah. You... I, I suppose I learned my lesson, you know? No doubt about that at all. All right, live and learn. Come out this way. Our fender here in the restraint chair, approximately iron 15 minutes. How are you feeling? Doing good. You're doing good? Yeah. Okay, let, let me explain what we're going to do here, okay? We're going to take you out of the chair. The officer's going to give you specific commands, all those commands, okay? And then we're going to start you in the process, and then you just get you through as quick as possible. Okay? Any questions about that? Can you have your socks? Yeah. I think we can find your socks. I get, like, 
I don't know. I just don't like that. Yeah, time. yeah. We have samples. Um, yeah, we got the whole over there. All right. Stand up. This man came to us uh, charged with domestic violence uh, and another example of uh, how we see citizens in uh, their worst condition. And uh, hopefully by the time he leaves here, uh, he will have uh, straightened up and got his life on track. detention center in Las Vegas is very entertaining. I see people from all over the world. They come here on vacation and they think they have access to anything and that no rules apply to them. And that's just because we have the gambling, we have money, women, alcohol, and that combination is what gets them into trouble. Come on, ladies. Brian, what, what do you do? I'm a singer and I'm a drummer. What do you drum. sing? Sing and drum. I sing about the survival and the hope of life. What kind of music? Like, I was always in like classic metal, you know? Classic. But my originals come out like something you hear on the Light 102 channel. He was using some sick stuff in the car. You know, like. <laughs> you mean like classic? Standing in my shadow, and I'm dealing with when life is stealing me. We're living in a world of frown. Take these off. Keep singing them. Right now. Take your jacket. Right now. Very nice. Wow. Did you hear that? Get some backup vocals. Yeah. That's impressive, sir. Mm. Go down the second row. Sit in the last chair and wait for medical to call you. Okay. Yeah, thanks, guys. No, thank, thank you. you, sir. I'm just stand over here and sing my song, sorry. Uh, what did you bring him in for? He's got a Nobel warrant for drugs. How'd you find him? He was uh, sitting at a rock. I was sitting at a rock uh, bar and they asked him to leave, so the bouncers called us up because he was refusing to leave. But uh, yeah, he, he knows the uh, bartender pretty well, he was saying. But, and he sang to you the whole way down here? Yeah, the whole way, and then I, I had to ask him to stop so he could save his voice and serenade the uh, people at CCDC. Totally appreciate that. Thank Thanks. you. <laughs> I smoked the best pot you're ever going to smoke in your life a couple, couple hours ago. You know, just a little tight, just a little shot of THC, just a little shot of THC, boom, boom, just a little shot of THC, boom, boom. Oh, oh! Come on, rock star, let's go. Do you, do you have a, a song to fit this situation right now? Express yourself. What do you feel like in song right now? What do I feel like in song right in now? In song. Jimmy Rock's going down, 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 down. And a ring of fire. <laughs> but the only thing that I'm worried about is if I'm doing this at like 50 years old, you know? If I never got that record deal, that's what I'm worried How about. How old are you now? 38. You got plenty of time. You're gonna get that record deal. Come on. Let's go back. But Metro. What about Metro? Metro's got mad love for Jimmy Rock, though, don't they? Have a seat. Sammy. Time to relax. All right, you gonna be okay for a minute? Yeah, I'm just thinking of um, my um, my next number one hit. Because this is all just temporary, you know? Absolutely, do you write? I write. You gotta hear my songs. They're, I wrote a country hit. You don't sing country. Yeah, I did. Everywhere we go, we got our job site, radio. Huh? Keep going. You like that? I'm feeling it, but keep going. Come on. Well, we come back from the weekend, and things were slow, but all we heard was that job site radio. It's a mega hit. Wouldn't Big and Rich and um, Toby Keith buy that song? I could totally picture them singing Job music. site radio? Yeah, job Everywhere site radio. Everywhere we go, we got our job site radio. That's cool. You're very creative. I am. Yeah. Keep singing. I'll be right back. Hi, James. James. Hey, James. Mark. Just I call out and get you out of there. Mark. Mark. Hi, how are you? Jim? Vietnam, Vietnam. Turning. Awesome, you rock. Can you spread your feet for me, please? That's because you're amazing. Spread your feet. You ever think sharp on anything that could cut me, make me cry? Okay. I appreciate knowing that, sir. I ain't doing nothing. You're a funny guy. Officer Clark, he's very touchy, Billy. 
Look at, see this Officer. officer right there? Officer. You see that officer right there? That's Officer Leha. Can you sing for her? A ballad. I'm gonna tell you one more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a rock star. I did a rock star. This is an inmate karaoke. You're next. Think of the song you're gonna sing. Well, I don't like karaoke. Yeah! Okay, those are some awesome vocals, sir. We Maybe you should listen to him more. How does that not make you happy? No, I don't want to bother you. Thank you. I appreciate it, sir. You're awesome. No, it gets, you're in control. Okay. You're the law. I've seen you before. I can't say the real thing. You, you're like, uh, you no. come on. See what I'm saying? There's your buddy. I'm Go with your buddy. He's not going to hurt you. <laughs> He's a big teddy bear. <laughs> Let's go. Bye -bye. Let me get you out of these chains, all right? But they tell me I'm, you know, I'm delusional and, you no. know. What is your story? My story is um, I come across the country all by myself, you know, to try to achieve my rock and roll dreams because I got so much pain. I got pain. I, I can you see know? the pain. I went to Florida in 03. Can I top your head, sir? Because I was stabbed eight times in my chest. Oh, let me Wait. see that stab wound again. Oh, you got your ear where, Where's that stab wound at? Have a seat, where? Sorry, Deloach. Um, right here. Right. Well, here. Okay, listen to the officer and then we'll eight talk. Eight times, you know? Okay, listen to the officer real quick. Go ahead. Thank you. What were you doing tonight to get you brought in here? I went to Jackson's bar, and I was just looking for this guitar player, and one of the bar bouncers decided that he was going to check my ID and everything, and so I wouldn't leave. I guess the bartender actually called Metro, because they, they can't handle a true star like me. They can't handle a New York, Baltimore, true rock and roll wild heart like me. It's time for your property. So we can get you rolling. I must keep my dreams alive because there's too many people telling me to shut up. And we're not telling you shut up because we really like your music and all, but you know in the next room, you can't be uh, as loud as you were in the front room, okay? You know you got a fence on, right? Yeah, that's it's why I'm here, right? Thing. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna sit on Thanks, the left-hand side. Don't speak with the women. It's a crazy night. Right, I get some entertainment, but this has probably been the best stuff I've seen in a long time. Hopefully officers out here appreciate his music as much as we did out free arrest. I've been employed with Metro for approximately 20 years, 13 of which I've been a sergeant. I handle daily administrative tasks like scheduling, um, but in addition to that, I roam the floor, make sure we're operating properly, booking people in according to the law. At the end of the day, my number one goal is to leave here with my staff in the same condition that we came in every day for work. You have to stay here a minimum of 12 hours, and after that, you have to post your bail if you want to go home. Well, what is my thing that I'm in jail for? I forgot. Battery domestic violence. I hit somebody? I can't tell you what you did. I wasn't at the scene, okay? All I know is what's happened since you've gotten here. I, I was cool at first. 
You've been I was pretty real vocal cool. since you got here. I was He's real cool. <laughs> well, at about 5 a.m., you were threatening my staff in the prayer rest areas, telling them that they better watch out for you because you were violent. I was violent? You I were was making no. jokes. Well, I when I first came in, I was making jokes and stuff with people. I wasn't trying to be violent. No, you were I was telling really them that they better make... watch out for you because you are violent, and that's a bad threat. Oh, I threat. said I'm crazy. Yeah, I did say I'm yeah, crazy. Yeah, I know. I did say that. But this is not helping my problem by strapping me in this chair, ma'am. I don't think safety. This, I don't think this is helping me very much. I think this home. is making me more matter and matter. The longer I sit here, I think I'm just gonna get matter and matter, ma'am. Well, I hope so not. Why, because why do I have to sit here, ma'am? Because I'm trying to protect you from yourself. You are banging and kicking and hitting your head on a door. I, no, I wasn't hitting my head. I was hitting my feet. If you stay calm mm -hmm. and you work your way out of that chair, I'm going to try and put you in a holding tank like we do everyone else. It's can, all dependent can, on your behavior. Can you take me out now? No, I can't. I'm not convinced that we're not going to have further problems with you. I'll be okay. I will. Unfortunately, I, it's not that simple. I'll be okay. I okay. just don't like being locked down like this. I can't do jail. got to get out of here. Okay, I'm going to come back and check on you. I'm done. Probably in about 15, 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. We don't like the chair, right? No. All right. You're going to cooperate? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start with your feet. Okay. When we take you out of the chair, we're going to try and get you through the booking process, okay? You haven't had your history in physical or seen our doctor yet? I've seen some man. We need to get that done before anything else can happen, okay? Okay. When you see the doc, you need to let him know about your drinking, so if you need anything while you're here, he can help you. Doc will buy me a beer? No, ma'am. We can't give you any alcohol. Okay, you got it. Okay. Stand up for me. Stand up. There you go. Step over here. Go ahead. Put it on the wall for me. Did she get patted? Yeah, she was actually, I patted her down. She was actually out there. She got walked to the slide from out there. Yep, all right, come on. Okay. Come with me, okay? Let's get through this process, okay? okay? So pull yourself together, okay? Listen, listen to me. When you go out there, don't be loud. Just listen. Mm -hmm. Listen. Not just yet. Not yet, but you're going to get there. But listen, the longer you, you know, you're loud and stuff like that, the longer it takes for me to get home. You're going to have to you calm have down to before we go out there, okay? You don't have to cry. All right? Pull yourself together before we take you out. Oh. Right, come on. the best way. Come on. Okay. Before you know it, you'll be out. Okay, so if you need to get up, you need to raise your hand and wait till the officer addresses you. Okay? Do you understand? The subject was extremely distraught when she came in. She was irritable. She admitted having alcohol on board. Um, as a result of that, we placed her in our restraint chair for a cool down and observation period. Usually, we use that as a tool when we're uncertain how people are going to behave until we get a, a better assessment um, of their cooperation level. It was successful with her. We did take her out. We're trying to get her through the process right now so she can work on getting out of jail. I didn't like ghetto people. Don't you rap to get out of the ghetto. Nope. I swear to God, I'd sell six albums just to get me to First Street. I swear to God. I'm in Miami, Trent. Be quiet. Take me to the ghetto. All right, over here. I told him, come from the Bellagio. Pick me up at Caesar. Oh, I'm in Miami. Get back on your bike. Go on, go ahead, young lady. Sorry, ass bitch. Uh, we noticed her uh, sprinting across Las Vegas Boulevard with her top down. Upon uh, making contact with her, she continued to flash myself and other pedestrians on the street. So we took her into custody, put her back in the vehicle at that time. She became uh, a rate on cooperative. Uh, we found uh, some cocaine in her purse, so that's where we believe she's under the influence of cocaine. Can I dance? <laughs> I'm drunk. I'm having fun. I'm not vicious. <laughs> Stay all day. Yeah, you. Stay all day. Go sit down. Hello, honey. Sprint you. Do you have anything sharp on anything that could cut me? No. What do you? This way, ma'am. 
What are you doing here? Why are you brought in? Um, burglary charge and possession of stolen property. All right, thank you. Was it somebody's home? Sorry, I'm just real, I'm embarrassed for even doing it. Well, you gotta talk about it, though. You gotta get over it. You gotta accept it. So, do you kind of see wow. what I'm thinking? I'm an idiot. So you're just realizing now that you did something wrong? Yes, I'm just now realizing that... What you did was illegal. Yeah. Okay, so you accept responsibility. Yeah. I have a drug problem. Okay. Are you under the influence right now, ma'am? What'd you take? Valium and Xanax. I could tell. Meth. And some meth? Okay, you need to make sure you let medical know that. I want to change my life around. Okay. You know what the first thing you can do, too? I want to stop using drugs. All right, so we'll get a game plan while we're in here, okay? Come on. This row, all the way down the very last chair, sit and wait for medical. I'm in Miami. Coming through. Okay. Well, oh, oh, oh. Yes, special. Basically, we got a uh, burglary in progress call where the victim came home um, and found the female on his balcony. Uh, his house had been broke into, and she was in possession of one of the stolen phones in the apartment. Well, I'm noticing that you have the same charges from here before. I know, because I need help, saying, and I, I mean, But do you really, there's people that say they want help and people that'll tell me that they want help because they think that's what I want to hear. I don't care what you want to hear, ma'am, honestly, because I don't want to live my life like this. I mean, I don't like what I see. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why don't you go ahead and take your jewelry off? <laughs> I just don't know if you're being <laughs> sincere about this because I hear you crying, but there's no tears. There's no tears. No, there's no tears. I just don't know if you're oh, sincere about I'm this. Sincere. And I'm not just saying it because why would I waste my on. breath? I'm gonna do the best that I can, but I can only do so much in here. You've got to do it. You've got to initiate it. So go ahead and put that put shirt, the on. shirt on. Put some panties on, you pants. Stand up. Let's go. Oh, I'm in Miami trip. You stop dancing. I don't like pimps or hoes that work for pimps. I don't like them. Don't like them. Don't like them. Can't stand them. Nasty. Just awful. Don't like them. I am drunk. Take her out here. Yeah. Hold still. I just don't like gangsters, OK? I don't like pimps. That's disgusting. I'm sure she would be able to see herself. She realized what kind of a fool she looks like. Are they fighting? They're gonna fight. They're gonna fight. Why can't we all just get along? You guys are vicious. Because she. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. She is a good girl. She's been quiet. Well done. You're a whore. You're a horrible drunk. Hey, hey, you call me. Hey, 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 hey,
I think that you tell me what you want to hear, you tell your family what they want to hear. I'm sorry, listen. I'm okay, just trying to, that, I'm just trying to toughen you up, okay? Listen, do you, do you see the problem, though? You want to be a better person, you got to do the work. Good luck to you. And they leave me outside. I'm gonna go home to my family tonight. I've been thinking about my home, I've been thinking about my needs. I don't wanna be.